Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the theme of leadership. Our goals for today are to look at what leadership is, to evaluate the attributes of leadership, and to evaluate where a reader might see leadership while reading. Let's start by taking a look at what leadership is. Leadership can be where a person may guide or direct a group toward their goals. This may be a real person in real life, or it may be an invented person, a character in fiction. This can include the office or position of leadership, such as a manager or an executive. It may be the capacity or the ability to lead. Or it may be the action, the act, or an instance of leading others. It can include all of those things. Let's take a look at what the attributes of leadership are. When we're talking about leadership, what specifically are we looking for? If we're talking about this in a character, we're going to look for a character who has this overall courage to lead. This character should have a vision for the present and for the future, should be able to manage change within people, should be able to build relationships between people, should be able to manage him or herself, and should be able to demonstrate a high level of teamwork. All of these are what we should expect to see in a leader. Now, not all leaders are good. Some leaders are very bad leaders. So we may see some of these attributes being inverted in a bad leader. Let's take a look at some of the specifics behind leadership. What would we expect to see from a really, really good leader? We may expect that that person would have integrity, so they're going to do what they say that they're going to do. They may have dedication, so they're going to follow through on what the goal is. They may have humility, to where they give credit to the whole group and not just to themselves may communicate really well to be able to get the group to move forward, have a sense of creativity to be able to find new solutions to problems, would include fair treatment of people so that no one is being bullied or harassed on the team, would be willing and able to speak out to make sure that problems that arise are handled quickly, and would also need to have a good sense of balance to see the big picture so that that leader can move everyone in the group forward towards the goal. These are what we would expect to see in a strong leader. So what does leadership look like as we are reading our stories, whether these are fiction stories, whether these are nonfiction stories, whether they're essays, blogs, a whole variety of different things, we're going to see the theme of leadership. What specifically will we be looking for? We're going to see characters who are moving people from danger to safety, who can help a community rebuild after a tragedy, who are fighting against oppression, who are turning a problem into a solution, and who are acting with knowledge. Now keep in mind these are attributes of a strong leader, not a weak leader. So any of these could be inverted, and that's what we might see in a weak leader. So how would you locate leadership? First of all, take a look in your story and find the conflict. Find where the problem is. That's where your leader is going to be because your leader is going to be pushing through that conflict to get to the goal. Which character is facing the conflict? Look for your protagonist or for one of the protagonists, and that's typically going to be a leader. Now your antagonist may also be a leader, but it just may be a leader in a negative way. That form of leadership may come from an individual or from a group. It doesn't just have to be one person. Look for any kind of injustices or unfairnesses that are incurring. 
it will require leadership to get through those things. At this point, what you should know and be able to do is to understand what leadership is, have a basic understanding of the attributes of leadership, and to be able to recognize the theme of leadership in reading. I hope this information is helpful to your reading. Good luck to you.